Right now we're in the Custom House and we're on the second floor standing in the exhibit which tells the story of Henry Flagler's railroad. The railroad was very important to Key West and all the Florida Keys because it was the thread that connected us to the mainland. Who had the foresight and the money to construct a railroad over the open ocean to Key West? There was only going to be one special person and it was Henry Flagler. Some of the things that are in this exhibit will really take you back to the days of the early 20th century. We want you to really have the sense of what it would have been like to have been on the train itself. So as you look out the window, there is actual footage shot during the 1920s when the train was coming to Key West. You'll actually see the plates, the silvers, and you'll get a sense of what kind of style this was and how wonderful it was to travel. You'll also meet some of the people that worked You'll see their tools, you'll get to lift one of the mallets that they pounded the spikes down with, and you'll get to actually see what they said and how they felt about it. I think it's hard for people in this era to even imagine what it took to build a railroad. And when you look at this toolbox and you see the kind of implements that are in it, it gives you a sense of the power and the individual drive it took to make this great adventure come through. Many people come to Key West on the Overseas Highway, which was at one time part of the railroad. I'd like to invite everyone to come to Key West to learn our history and to have a seat on our rail car and experience the early 20th century.